Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about how much money you have does not matter to the right woman. It really doesn't. Now obviously there are women out there that are materialistic and do um, want to know what kind of money you're earning, what kind of car you drive, what kind of suits you wear, uh, what you're going to give them, what you're going to buy them. There obviously are women out there that are materialistic but if you're a guy that's poor <laughs> or you don't have that much money or you just have an average job or average wage that is not going to matter to the right woman it really isn't right if a woman loves you is attracted to you there's not a lot she can do about it right she's going to still love you she's still going to be attracted to you she's still going to want you because a lot of women can't stay away from men that they're attracted to they just simply can't they're always going to have a fe that feeling towards you. They're always going to feel attracted to you. So a woman that likes you makes things very, very easy for you, okay? Because she's going to be enthusiastic about you. She's going to want you. She's going to want to hang out with you. And like I said, it doesn't matter how much money you have. It really doesn't matter. Um, and th I th know this for myself because, there were, th I, you know, I didn't have a lot of money. And my wife still decided to want to be with me. She never gave up on me. Um, she still wanted to hang out with me. She still wanted to be with me. She was still attracted to me. And my dating pool is even lesser than what yours probably is. Because I'm a lesbian. So obviously there's less lesbians out there than straight women. Right? And, and straight people. So, you know, you've got a, a whole pool of, of women to choose from. Um, but I think it depends on your, your mindset though. Because if you feel like there's a lack of women, then that's exactly what you're going to experience. Or if you feel like women only want you, only want men with money, or only want men to have a certain amount of good looks, then if if that's your belief, then that's what you're going to see. That's what you're going to find. Um, so you know you got to switch to a more abundant mindset, basically, and think that there's plenty of women out there for you, because there really is. I mean, there really, really is. Um, <clears throat> and it's kind of weird how this works. I think it's the the rect something like the rectal activating system or something in your brain. Or in other words for it, law, the law of attraction. Because the more you put your attention on something, the more you see it. So it could be, for example, let's say you um, find, you, let's say you learn a new word, right, from like the dictionary. Um, and I experienced this. I experienced this with a word called rapport um, many, many years ago. I first learned the word rapport and then suddenly I started reading it in, I started seeing it in books that I was reading I started hearing people talking about it on podcasts um, I started hearing it just in my everyday life and when we put our attention on something we tend to see it more so if you put your attention on there are plenty of women out there for me then that's what you're going to see that's what you're going to manifest for yourself right it's just one of those weird things I don't quite know how it works I don't think anyone really does but <laughs> if you put your attention on something and you, or you learn something new, or you buy a car, uh, and you start seeing that car everywhere, even though you'd, you'd never seen that car before in your life, you know, it's just one of those things, the more, and the, the reason is simply because it's really important to you, and that's why you start to see it more, right, so you've got to believe then that, you know, if, if you think that women only want men that have a lot of money, then that's what you're going to see. So you have to switch that around. You have to be like, okay, women don't care if I have money or not. The right women won't. And guess what? They really won't. They really don't care how much money you got. They more care. They care more about actually your vibe, right? And um, how uh, how you come across and how confident you are, or how you how you make her feel, right? So. In order to get a woman to really like you and to want to be around you, is you want to you want her to associate positive feelings to you, and the way that you do that is by making her laugh, by being confident in yourself, um, you know, uh, by making her feel at ease. And you do you make someone feel at ease by being at ease yourself and just allowing yourself to be yourself, basically, because um, that gives them the permission to do the same. That's one of the best ways that you can actually get a shy girl to open up to you and to be more receptive towards you. If you can be your fun, goofy self and let your guard down and not be shy yourself, then that gives her the permission to, to do that, even though it may take a few dates to really get her to open up. But essentially, what I'm saying here is, is that if a woman likes you, 
really likes you, then it doesn't matter how much you have in your wallet. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter how uh, you, um, how what car you drive, what job you have. It all all it comes down to is if she's attracted to you, and um, if uh, you're confident in yourself, and um, you make her feel good. And she can associate those positive feelings towards you. Because if you're negative all the time and you're always talking about topics that are really, you know, downers and things like that. Um, and she, she, what she's going to do is she's going to associate negativity towards you. She's not going to feel nice around you. She's not going to like being around you. Right. So, or, or perhaps you're acting unconfident and needy and insecure. And that's going to make her feel like, oh, you know, it's going to make her, her stomach turn, basically. Right, but if you're sure of yourself, if you're confident, if you're laid back, if you're there to have a good time, if you're uh, you know you're trying to make her laugh, and you you you're just there basically to yeah exactly that have a good time, um, then you know she's gonna feel more com comfortable around you. Okay, so it's all about your vibe. It's it's never usually about how much you've got in your wallet, right? Because you know you may think oh yeah, but when I take her out on a date, she's gonna know. Well, you don't have to take her out on an expensive date. It's actually always a good idea to meet out with a woman for a drink first, right? Because then if you don't like her, you can easily leave, right? And Or if you do like her, you can easily extend the date for some to something longer. Because if you like her, you can be like, great, well, that was a good drink. How about we go to this restaurant over here and go and get some burgers or something like that? And, you know, and, and you don't have to go to expensive places. She's more, she's more in tune with her emotions, right? So she wants an experience, right? She doesn't care if there's you know, how expensive the, the meals are, how expensive the drinks are. She's there to, to feel, because the women are very in tune with their emotions. That, that's why it's all about your vibe. Like, if she feels comfortable around you, if she's attracted to you, if she, um, if you can make her laugh and make her feel good on the inside, that's what's really going to make the difference. Now, of course, you are probably going to bump into women that do care about money. So let's say you're poor and you take her to like a, a greasy spoon cafe, as we would call them here in the UK, for a cheap meal, right? Yes, yeah, she's probably not going to like that because she's materialistic and therefore she's not the right woman for you because obviously she wants some rich dude, right? So it's all, and obviously she doesn't fancy you enough. She's not attracted to you, to you enough to not let that bother her, Okay. And clearly, that's not a woman that you want. You want a woman who is attracted to you, who wants you, who wants to be around you, because that's what's going to make all the difference. And that's what's going to make the, the dating for you effortless. So obviously, yeah, you are going to bump into women who only want money. But the right women, the women that really want you, that really like you, don't care. They really do not care. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.